So after we mounted the engine and the CVT, we're now ready to fire it up. So before I mount the engine, what we're going to do is mount our CVT from Go Power Sports. This is the Series 40, it's a bolt-on style, it makes it very easy to use and it's also very heavy duty. It's, it's going to be hard to break this thing. Uh, CVT stands for Continually Variable Transmission, so there's no gear shifts, it's just it's two belts, or it's one belt, two sprocket gear things. Yeah, we'll show you how it oh, works as soon as we get cold. it together. <laughs> yeah, so we've already got it on the engine here. Uh, because it's a pain to do it by myself while Logan's standing there with the camera. Woo! So, all I'm doing is tightening it down. Make sure you use the bolts that are included. That includes your uh, lock washers too. Don't forget those or you'll probably have a bad time later on. So, now that those are tightened, I'm going to go ahead and tighten them again. Just double check. Now you don't want to over tighten these because you can strip out your the, uh, the threads in the motor. That's bad. So then you take your engine side pulley and it's slotted, it's pre-slotted, it's already got a keyway made for it. Yeah, but first of all you got to put spacers in the way because you got to get it yeah. lined up. Yeah, you need your spacers. With this guy. Before you put your belt on, put your just find your right measurement. We, we spent about 20 minutes trying to find this. Um, from my understanding, what you want is when this is on, during the higher RPMs, your belt's going to slide upwards. You want this in line when it's upwards, or you know when it's going really fast. If it's off center, you're just gonna throw your belt. And that's pretty much as easy as it gets. The uh, tied down the middle, or your uh, end inside pulley here, there's an included bolt. This threads right into your, uh, your crankshaft. Just like that. Pretty simple. Very easy bolt-on kit. We're just tightening the center bolt now. Just, just make sure this doesn't slide. You want to make sure it's tight. Make sure you keep it on there too. That's good. And now we're going to try and put the belt on. Oh, yeah, Walker, if you could hold that for me. We don't know if this is the right way to do it, but this is the only way we can get it. Just put it on there, and you twist, and you twist, and it'll slide itself on there. Eventually. Eventually. Right there. There we go. Just like that. And now this thing slips under 200 RPM so you can idle without moving. That's why it's, it's real loose right now. Once the engine starts up, it's going to kind of pull itself. Centrifugal forces. All right, we're gonna mount it before we actually do this. Putting some holes in metal. Woo! Since we needed to raise the CVT off in order to get it off of this, and get it far enough away from the shocks that we don't think it's going to hit. We had to build these risers out of some really thick metal. And now we're going to weld that onto what used to be the mounting positions.
So after we mounted the engine and the CVT, we're now ready to fire it up. Oh, that's it? Yeah, it's fired up. I thought you were going to say more, Logan. You're not very creative.